Hi everyone, welcome to this video on getting started with a tooltip component of Syncfusion in a Blazor server application. In this video, I will explain how to create a Blazor application and add the Syncfusion Blazor package. Then I will show you how to add the Syncfusion Blazor tooltip component to the Blazor server application. After creating the tooltip, I will explain the different tooltip positions, sticky mode, and finally render the tooltip content using HTML template. To explore the features available in tooltip, visit our website link provided in the above YouTube card. You can create a Blazor application using either Visual Studio 2019 or Visual Studio Code. In this video, I will create a server-side Blazor application using Visual Studio 2019. I have installed the .NET Core SDK 312. To follow along with this video, one should have a basic understanding of c -sharp, HTML and CSS. You can also watch a detailed video on Blazor and Syncfusion controls titled Create a Blazor Server App and Add Syncfusion Blazor Components, which I have shared in the YouTube card. Now, let me create a Blazor project first. I select the Blazor App template, provide the project name My Blazor Server App and click Create. Here, the Blazor Server App was selected by default and I proceed by clicking the Create button. Now, Visual Studio has generated a Blazor Server application. To use Syncfusion Blazor components, I need to install the Syncfusion Blazor NuGet package in my application. To do that, I open the NuGet package manager by right-clicking the project file and selecting Manage NuGet packages. Under the Browse tab, I search for the Syncfusion Blazor package. I select it and click the Install button. The installation is completed now. When you check the dependencies folder and the packages folder and you will find the Syncfusion Blazor package added to this application. Next, the Syncfusion Blazor service must be registered in the services container. For that, I open the startup.cs file and use the Syncfusion Blazor namespace. Within the configure services method, I make a call to the add Syncfusion Blazor method. This makes Syncfusion Blazor services available within the application. Next, I must register a valid Syncfusion license key. To do so, in the configure method, I call the Syncfusion licensing Syncfusion license provider static method register license. You also need to pass your Syncfusion license key as a string parameter in the register license method. I have done this off stream. Within the pages folder, open the host.cs HTML file. Within the head tag, add the required CSS file to render the Syncfusion Blazor components. In this example, I refer the CSS file from the installed Syncfusion Blazor package. Now, let me add the Syncfusion Blazor tooltip to a button component in the index page. To do so, I use the Syncfusion Blazor pop-ups namespace to access the Syncfusion Blazor tooltip component and use the Syncfusion Blazor buttons namespace to access the Syncfusion Blazor button component. Adding this namespace here allows me to use the component markups. Also, I can import these namespaces in the imports.razor page to make it available to all Razor components within this application. I remove the existing code and type a SF button tag. Let me add a tooltip to this button control. I set the ID to BTN and this ID is mandatory to assign the tooltip to its target control. I add the content property and set the value to show tooltip. Now I add the tooltip tag SF tooltip and set the target as hash btn which is the id of the button control. I add the content property and assign a value content. Within the code directive, I add a variable content. I assign a string value to it. Now all is set to show a tooltip for the button. Let me save this and run the application. You can see the button control and when I hover over it, the tooltip is displayed. By default, the tooltip position is at the target stop center. You can customize the position to 12 static locations around the target. To set the position of a tooltip, in the SF tooltip tag, I add the position property and I choose one of the 12 positions. I set the right center position. I save the file and run the application. When I hover the button, the tooltip is shown at the right center. Notice that the tooltip disappears when I move out of the button. The tooltip can be kept open as long as the mouse hovers. This can be achieved by using the 
is sticky property in the sf tooltip tag i add the is sticky property and set its value to true i save the file and run the application i hover over the button the tooltip is shown and remains there even when i move out of the button control i click the close button to close the tooltip you can show the content of a tooltip with a simple string or a template now i will show you how to customize the tooltip content using the html template in the sf tooltip tag i remove the content and the code directive part to add the content as template within the sf tooltip tag i add the tooltip template tag and the content tag i also add some html content i have added a header tag an anchor tag and an image tag using the style tag i add styles for those html elements let me save the file and run the application i hover over the button you can see the customized tooltip with the html content in it if you need more information about the syncfusion blazor tooltip component you can refer to our online documentation a link is provided in the description of this video finally let me summarize the main points i have explained the steps to create a blazor server application and add the syncfusion blazor package then i showed you how to add the syncfusion blazor tooltip component to the blazor server application finally i explained you tooltip positioning sticky mode and how to render the tooltip content using html template you can download this working example from the github link in the video description below you can also see about getting a free license key to use our blazor products if you are eligible for our community license if you found this video useful click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos thanks for watching